as I've posted before, a lot of the New Testament is not written by the authors that we've attributed it to. Like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they're actually anonymous books um, attributed to those disciples for whatever reason. Now, I was reading something interesting in Bart Ehrman's new book, Forged. I will place a link below in the comment area for those that want to check it out or buy it from Amazon.com. Um, brilliant book talks about along these lines that a lot of the books that were written for the New Testament and even the Old Testament are either written years after the fact or they're being claimed to be written by people that have written other letters and gospels that were circling at the time. Now interestingly First Peter it's been pointed out to me actually sounds a lot like a Paul letter which is pretty funny because first Peter and second Peter second Peter is obviously a forge it is it it was written way after the fact which is pretty much propaganda it did not agree with anything that we know of Peter subscribing to in say the book of Acts um, first Peter is not the author of has does not have the same author as second Peter and pretty much the reason why is first Peter was written by Paul um, or someone claiming to be Paul or someone that we don't even know about but we gave it to we attribute it to Peter why I do not know but it's obviously a lot in the veins of Paul's writings go ahead check it out yourself read it you will see that it agrees a lot with Paul's theology so back to the main point the Bible is not the inerrant Word of God it has flaws and for people that want to say that you know it, it was written by a perfect God through human hands it's going to have errors but the errors abound the manipulations are vast and deep and there's no way that I could subscribe to something that uh, that is as suspect as the Christian religion.